It's Adriana, and this is my review of Thanks for Sharing. Okay, so just want to say I've been really behind in my videos, and that's because after TIFF, well, during TIFF, that last weekend there, I got sick, which I still am, and kind of like lost my voice and stuff, so couldn't really make a video for the last three movies I saw, so I guess this isn't so fresh from the theater, but I still wanted to make video reviews. Also, this video right now was a very, very impromptu decision, uh, so I don't look my best, but whatever. I just wanted to, you know, get this out there and not have it completely be delayed. Alright, so for the review. Thanks for Sharing is a comedy. It's, well, it's a dramedy actually, so it's dramatic, but it's funny, which is my favorite kind of movie. I love movies that can really mesh those two genres, and this one does it perfectly. It's probably one of the best examples of a dramedy that I have seen in my movie watching time. It's about three people, well, more than three, but we have three main characters that we focus on who are played by Tim Robbins, Mark Ruffalo, and Josh Gad who are in treatment for sex addiction. And so basically it's like a comedy version of shame. <laughs> so we're following these three people and the various difficulties that they come to in in their lives and with their addiction and you really get a good insight into what this addiction is like um, which is something that isn't very often explored as I mentioned before we had the movie Shame last year which I actually saw at TIFF last year which was a very dark dramatic way of looking at what a sex addict goes through. Now this movie clearly had a different approach it's hilarious. Actually, the theater that I was in, we were dying of laughter constantly and like applauding at half the big jokes. The movie is directed by Stuart Bloomberg and he also wrote it. This is his first directorial project. He's the same writer of The Kids Are Alright, which was another dramedy that came out a couple years ago starring Julianne Moore and um, Annette Bening. And also Mark Ruffalo, and that was the one where they were a lesbian couple and the kids try to find their biological father. And that movie got a lot of attention, but I felt like even... It was a dramedy, but it was more just dramatic. I didn't find it funny at all, and that's why I really didn't like that movie, because I was expecting it to be, you know, a mix, basically what this movie is. So I think if that movie could do really well at the Oscars and stuff, then thanks for sharing when it comes out, whenever that may be, it's probably going to be a 2013 release. I think it will do very well. The acting is fantastic all around, um, and there's some, there's a lot of actors in it. We have the three leads I already mentioned. There's Gwyneth Paltrow who plays the love interest to Mark Ruffalo, there's a pop star who you wouldn't expect and who does a really good, amazing job, actually. I don't want to mention her name because I don't know if it's supposed to be a surprise that she's in it. Watch them advertised and she's going to be, you know, all up in there. But for now, I thought she was really good in the movie. Then there's Patrick Fugit, who is that actor who is the lead in Almost Famous, who we barely ever saw again. And he's in it, and I think he's really good in the movie. It was just a really great ensemble effort. So yeah, I highly recommend Thanks for Sharing. It's a very smart movie. It's funny. It's dramatic. It's an honest film, I find. Mm -hmm. I loved it so much. It's my number three of the festival, which is a pretty big feat to have achieved. I saw some good movies. And I guess that's about it. I wrote an article I just want to mention. I don't know how many of the people who watch my YouTube videos ever click on my Tumblr, but I have a top 10, well not top 10, I have an article that kind of accumulates my TIFF experience. I just basically ranked all the movies I saw and wrote a little bit about them. Kind of the same thing you find in my videos, but maybe a little bit more articulate since I actually thought through that and I don't think through my videos. 
So if you want, you can click that. It's going to be just under this video here. And yeah, thank you for watching my review. And watch Thanks for Sharing when it's out, I think. I think you might really like it.